guys, welcome back. And today we're talking about projectors, mini projectors. Not something I normally review, but I was sent to this for review and actually I'm a little more excited about it than I thought I would be for a couple different reasons, but let's get into it. So this is the projector here. Just to show you real quick how small it is, about the size of my hand. Easy to take on the go in the bag, but let's get into that in a bit. Let's show you the box and what comes in it, all that fun stuff. So if you're interested in a small projector to take on camping trips, that kind of thing, this could be it for you. Or you got work related stuff, you don't need a backup in case you can't find a, uh, an office environment that has the proper equipment to have a PowerPoint truck thrown on a screen, something like that. This is the box that comes in, pretty fancy, just a box. Uh, this is the carrying case you can use. Zippers on the side. We have, oh, get my other camera going here. We have a carrying case with the remote inside. Place to put the projector itself and then the little mini tripod that it comes with. And you can add the cables that came with. It came with a USB-C and this is just like the Apple one. It looks very, very close uh, that you get for your iPhone. Uh, USB-C to USB-C, nice cord and cable there. It can be used for other things. Uh, HDMI cable, full HDMI in and out. Yeah, and that's it. Let me put the cords away, get some of this mess out of the way. This is the Goody DLP mini projector. It's got 5G Wi-Fi to help for ba faster streaming, uh, mirroring your, your phone, and it's rechargeable. So it has a built-in battery inside and says it'll, it'll last about two and a half hours on one charge playing a movie. So if your movie's over two and a half hours, you just need to find another power source. So either plug it in or get yourself a power bank and, and plug it right here in, in the back of the USB-C port. So let's go over the ports real quick. USB, which is also an out power, so you can charge another device, which is important. For some of these devices, you'll connect to it. USB-C, which is the incoming power and a full HDMI and then a headphone jack if you want to plug in speakers or a pair of headphones. Speaking of speakers, what? Yes, 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 yes. It does have Bluetooth and you can connect your Bluetooth speaker to it. I connected my Bose SoundLink to it and played a movie. There was no lag of the words coming out of my mouth and what was coming into the speaker. So the transition was good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Scott, Scott's reviews, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And let's get into this. You can display it about 155 inches is about what the, the maximum is to get the best look and clarity from this. On the side right here is a little toggle switch back and forth, which is the focus button. So when you, once you set it up, whatever screen you put it on, the side of your house or whatever it is, you can focus it in. So this also would be good uh, used for holiday time. If you like to project stuff on your house, Christmas vacation movie or something like that, just make sure it's plugged in through a power source and then you can play that movie. Uh, in the back here, it has a little kickstand in case you don't have anything with you. You can kind of prop it up on a desk or a table. So if you're in a conference room, you can pop it out of your, your, uh, your bag, place it down, hook it up to your iPad, your laptop, whatever you want to hook it up to and project that onto the screen. If you need to do a quick training or meeting kind of thing. So it comes with a mini tripod, uh, but I did use a bigger tripod uh, earlier when I was playing it with the family. Other than that, we need to get into the menu system and how it works, what you can connect to it. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna run through the menu system. First things first, on the right side of the device is your focus. So obviously it's out of focus, you just, Spin the dial to you feel it's in focus the best for you. All right, so if you want to plug in a USB thumb drive to the device and have movies, photos, music, that kind of thing set up on there, you can do that. Plug it in the back, and then from here, you would basically use this to guide your way through to play whatever movies or photos you have on the device and it finds. And then uh, screencast. Up here at the top left, where it's on right now, that is basically taking the cable and plugging it into your phone direct to the device. iOS cast is like screen mirroring. It's kind of like more of the, of the Wi-Fi way to do it. That's probably how most folks are going to basically screencast. Settings, let's go to settings. This is where you set up your Wi-Fi. 
but it's connected to the Wi-Fi there. Right, let's try to cast it to my phone. It'll give you some instructions here how to go ahead and set up your phone. Connect it to my phone now. So, and I can go in here and pretty much pick what I would like to show. So it says connected to AirPlay. All right, Yellowstone. Kevin Costner's coming back. There's, there's a couple ways to connect. So if you have an Apple device, there is Wirecast, I call it, and then there is AirPlay. All right, I'm gonna try Cablecast. Got it plugged into the bottom of the phone, and it's going from Lightning to USB. Oh, here we go. Free us, man. College or Pro Bowl? So right now I have it hooked up to my Bose speaker and then I have it hooked up through my iPhone to the cable. Of the two options, I would lean toward the wireless option. I thought it was just as good as the cable option and I'm kind of more familiar with like AirPlay kind of stuff. Uh, so no problem mirroring it. Uh, I did mirror a couple of things. So I did some YouTube stuff. Uh, one thing I didn't realize not having a projector before I have Apple TVs around my house that there's a copyright um, restriction for like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV, HBO Max, the streaming services. You can't play that directly. You have to get something else to play like a Netflix. So that is how I got excited about this guy because I had an old Chromecast on the back of one of my old TVs that I never really used anymore. So I went and got it, hooked it up, HDMI to the Chromecast, and the Chromecast needs power. It's perfect. It outcasts power to the USB. You can put in power for the USB-C. Out power comes from the USB. So get a power bank and plug it in right here to the USB-C, and you can rock and roll a lot longer. If you have a Fire TV stick, perfect. Uh, just plug it back here into the HDMI port, and it's rock and rolling. I love having old technology work with new technology that I wasn't using before. So that is fun. So let me give you my opinion about the clarity of the screen. Um, it, it needs to be a dark environment. It even says that in instruction. It should be in a dark environment like most projectors are, right? Um, but I thought it was good for a TV, something like this size on a wall, nothing too crazy. Um, within that 155 inches, it's good. I mean, for a small little projector like this, it, 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 it does a great job. It's 1080p. It's not going to be a 4K. Is it even 4K? I guess there are probably a 4K. Too. So it's 1080p projection. Uh, I found it clear. I found it easy to watch. So if you got camping, if you want to throw this onto like a, a tent, you kind of cast your, your, your image on there, or you actually may bring a white background of some sorts, it's going to be great. One thing great about the size is that it's so small that you could take it with you and you don't really have to make a big decision about whether should I bring the projector or are we going to use it or not use it. Because some of these projectors are really big and you're like, you're dedicated if you're going to use it or not. This guy, so small, uh, battery operated, it's a no-brainer. Take it with you, you use it, you don't use it, whatever. It's not a big deal. If you are interested, I'm going to show you some videos now of me using it, but if you're interested in the product, it'll be down below. Thanks for watching, and uh, what do you think of the new lighting? I'm reviewing this guy next from Inky, the Gold Crow. These are two new lights, and I got a new softbox uh, installed. So, again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. I'll be reviewing that light here shortly. So, UAV online. This is me playing uh, Call of Duty on my phone. Oh, that's a killer drone deployed. It's on my phone. Oh, missile inbound. Standing by. UAV recon is standing by. Another killer drone on standby. Friendly hunter has been deployed. We're almost there. Keep it up. online. Enemy in sight. I got a shot.
I've got it well, on the low speaker, time, uh, Bluetooth to the device, like and playing on the screen. That. And I have it play that best as I can to focus. More, more Call of Duty. God.